So this is how delicately balanced a stem cell transplant can be um, and how small things can uh, throw you off. And uh, because one of the things I forgot to tell you about in uh, my previous blog post was uh, when I was having the CAMPATH uh, the last couple of days, um, one of the reactions I had, uh, aside from cold fingers, uh, shakes, and uh, stuff like that, flu-like symptoms and aches. I also had a bit of a sniffy nose, um, and I was blowing my nose quite a bit, I wasn't sneezing at all. Um, so they decided to, just as a precaution, do a, uh, a test to see if I got a cold, a test for viruses in my uh, nostrils. So uh, they did what they uh, affectionately called a snot test. Where Anyway, I won't tell you how they do that. Um, but I've just got the results back, and apparently I do have a cold. Um, they called it a rhinovirus. Why well, they can't just call it a cold, I don't know. Um, but what that means is, first thing, I have to move out of this lovely big room. Uh, you're thinking it's small. It's actually bigger than the other rooms on the ward. So I'm going to have to move into a smaller room, and that is basically because this room has uh, the positive pressure ventilation system where they blow in clean air um, and all the rest of the air, including any viruses I might have, gets shunted out into the corridor. So um, I'm going to have to move into a different room where the uh, bad air gets extracted out. So. Um, so that's the, the first thing, a couple of hours to uh, get all my stuff together and then I have to move out. Um, but then the other side of it is they don't know whether my cold is coming or going. And of course they've already given me some drugs to uh, supp suppress my immune system and they're going to be giving me more of that. There's some going through uh, even uh, as I'm recording this. So, um, but they have to get to a stage um, before next Monday, whether they know whether it's uh, a cold that's going away or coming to the fore. Um, and if, uh, if I don't get rid of this in the next two or three days, then the whole transplant could be off um, because they don't want to give me a massive dose of chemo, which they're planning on Monday, um, if that's going to knock out my immune system in one day um, and then uh, I've got this cold virus which could potentially then kill me. So, um, I don't know what I'm thinking at the moment, but it's pretty frustrating. But um, as uh, my kids um, said, stay strong, Dad. So, I'm going to keep smiling and, uh, and get on with things and let's hope uh, the worst doesn't happen. So uh, I'll speak to you later. Bye.